and just follow them back sort of in and warp it. So then, so we got this cool mirror right here, and basically what this is is a wireless noise cancellation headphone. If you see the one that we got right here from this brand. And this is what the package looks like when you guys first get it. So you see the bar right here, they probably got some specs and features that's on here. And they call this an SRBH900, Wireless Active Noise Cancellation Headphone. And we see it on the side, they've mentioned how there's like a noise wall technology. And they also mentioned how on the side, the headphone, they do have like a touch control. So that way you can control everything really easily and very smoothly on here. And we see the back, they probably got some more specs and features as well. So they mentioned how it has four dual microphones that's on here that has the ANC technology. So that's actually really cool and very useful. So that way, when you guys are making calls or something, you guys can hear the other person really clearly. They mentioned how it has a high quality base with a 40 mm driver. It has a fast and stable wireless connection using the Bluetooth 5.0 technology. It has an air conducting structure that has protein leather earmuff to provide you guys the best comfort when you guys do put it on. They mentioned the battery life on one full charge to give you guys around 17 hours of usage. And they also mentioned how the product has multi-device connection, so that way you can switch from wired or wireless really easily. They also mentioned how the product allows you guys to activate voice assistant, so like Siri or something. They also mentioned how the product has an ambient sound mode if you guys want to turn it on. And they also mentioned how it has CVC 8.0 support for crystal clear call. So that is everything that's on the box. Let me actually open it up to show you guys what the inside looks like. All right. So once you guys open up, there's a box inside the box. But once you guys open up, there is a case inside the box. And we guys take that out. They do probably got the user manual to teach you guys how to use it. And in the back, they do probably got some stickers, which are very common, especially when you guys purchase any of the other products. But right here, we see we do have the case. When you guys feel the case, it actually feels very soft and very smooth. But let me actually open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So once you guys open up, this actually looks like inside. So you see they probably got a little piece of paper to show you guys how to use all the different button controls that's on here. In the back of this little piece of paper, they probably got some accessory. So let's take it out first. So inside, they probably got an accessory that you guys can probably use in an airplane or something. Next to right here, they probably got a USB to USB-C cable. So you guys can use that to recharge the product. And the last cable that's provided for you guys is the aux to aux cable. So that way you can use the wired option if you guys want to. And that is everything in a small little bag. Now let me show you the actual headphone. So when you take out the headphone, this is what the product looks like. So we do have the brand logo on both sides. But if you notice on the right side, we do have this huge opening or a huge gap. And that is the touch control. So that is how you guys skip the song, go back to the previous song, play and pause the music, increase and lower the volume. And if you guys turn to the other side, this is what the other side looks like. If you guys can see how she labels R and L, so that way you know which side is which. And we guys feel the pad that's on here, and also this side, and also the top part of the headphone. It definitely feels pretty nice. When you guys kind of squeeze it, you can definitely feel that comfort that's on here. It also feels really soft when you guys kind of feel it. And for this part right here, it's twistable. So that way it makes it a lot easier for you guys to put it away back into the case. And when you guys kind of flex it, it's actually really flexible. And if you guys notice on the side, on both sides, this part right here, you guys can extend it. Or bring it back in really easily. Same thing for the other side. And we see on the side of the headphone, they do have some button controls on here as well. So we do have the ANC button right here. So that is how you guys turn on the noise cancellation. Whereas for the other side, we do have two other buttons. So this is the voice assistant button to activate like Siri or something. And right here we have the Bluetooth button, which is probably the on and off button. And then you see the bottom. So that is where you have to plug in the aux cable. And the other side, we do have the USB-C output. So that is where you have to plug in the cable to recharge it. And if you guys notice throughout the product, they do have a bunch of microphones like I mentioned, which are a dual microphone that has the ANC technology. And if you guys notice with this part, it's kind of movable as well. So that way I can just based on your own preference when you guys do put it on for your ear. So that is everything that's included in the product. Before I actually test it out, let me plug in cable to show you guys how to charge it up. All right, so you're gonna plug the cable in the bottom. Once you guys have it plugged in, if you can see a red indicator light that pops on, so that is how you guys know when it's charging. I believe once it's fully charged, the light should turn off or change a different color like green. So that is how you guys charge up the product. Now let's turn it on to test it out to see how it works and show you guys what it looks like when you guys do put it on. So once you guys put it on, this is what the product looks like. So literally once I put it on, it actually feels really comfortable. They kind of activate like the ambient noise on here before we even turn it on. But this is what the product looks like from the front. Here's what it looks like from this side. Here is the other side. And here is the back. Now let's turn it on to test it out. So I'm gonna press on the Bluetooth button. All right, so we got on. Let's connect it onto our phone. All right, so we got connected. And currently I don't have the ANC on yet. So I wanna turn it on, which is on this side. So once I turn the ANC technology, it definitely works pretty well. Like all I hear is myself and I don't hear any of the surrounding noise. But if I press it again, that will turn it off. If I press it one more time, 
that will activate the ambient noise and that will allow me to actually hear everything that's going on like all the different noise etc as well which is really convenient especially when you guys are traveling in the plane and you probably want to listen to like the boarding calls etc but for this test i do want to turn the anc technology to test it out to see what she sounds like with the music on all right so i turn back on the anc technology now let's play a song to test it out to see what she sounds like All right, so when you guys test out the audio that's on here, it definitely sounds pretty good. It has a pretty good balance of both the audio and the bass, where it doesn't overpower each other. But in terms of the bass that's on here, it's actually pretty powerful. So if you guys do like bass like me, then it actually is pretty good. But you guys notice when I double tap on the side, it pauses the music. So if you guys do want to play and pause the music, you guys want to double tap it. All right, and if you guys want to increase or lower the volume, you guys want to swipe up or swipe down. All right. And if you guys want to skip the song and go back to the previous song, you guys want to swipe left and right. You then see how well the touch controls on here works. So whether you guys want to increase or lower the volume, or if you guys want to skip the song and go back to the previous song, you guys can definitely do all of that on here. And like I mentioned, if you guys want to answer calls, you guys can do that as well. And the way how you guys answer or reject a call is by pressing on the power button with the Bluetooth button one or two times. One time for answering and two time for declining. And if you guys want to turn off the product, you guys want to press and hold the power button or the Bluetooth button for four seconds and it will turn on or turn off by itself. And then like I mentioned, if you guys want to activate like Siri or voice assistant, you guys want to press and hold the uh, voice assistant button, which is right above the power button like this. So just press and hold it. That will activate it, if you can see. And when I do put on the product, it actually feels pretty comfortable on both the ear pad and also for the top part right here as well. But that is everything in terms of how to use the button controls that's on here. Now let's test out the microphone that's on here to see what it sounds like. All right, so I got my recorder. Let's test it out. All right, so what you guys are listening to right now is the audio that's coming from the headphone right here. You guys can hear what the audio sounds like. Now I'm going to go listen to the audio to see what it sounds like first. All right, so after listening to the audio that's on here, it definitely sounds really good and really clear. So if you guys want to use this for like making calls or if you guys want to do like interviews or if you just want to do like some kind of recording on here, you guys can definitely use a microphone that's built in because if you guys can hear from the test, it's actually super clear. There's no like noise or anything in the background because it does have the noise reduction or the ANC technology as well built into the microphone, not only just the headphone. But that is everything that's on the product. Now to the unboxing and test the product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality wireless ANC headphone that has the same design as on here. Where if you got the touch control, the ANC technology, the ambient mode, the microphone, the ANC technology, and so much more. That I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't even want or have any one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.